What's up YouTube, Kevin Wolford123. Today's video is pickup video for my pal A NezQuest and a few birthday gifts. Well, it is birthday gifts, gifts in general. Um, yeah, today is my birthday. It is the 13th of October. I had to actually check then to work out when my birthday was. That's how stupid I am. But anyway, so some gifts I've got. So Amanda's going out to this special event tonight. Um... I said to her, she's got to go, she can't miss it because it's like, it's like really special. I don't know if I can say what it is, a few people know already, but it's to do with Harry Potter, special event, she's going to be on the TV and everything, um, so she's really looking forward to go. So I said, you know, go, don't, you know, it's, it's my birthday, I know, but I was like, I don't, to me, the birthday is just another day. I said to her, go, don't miss it, it's one of those once in a lifetime opportunities, it's not going to come up again, so make sure you go. And she felt bad, so she bought me another game, she bought me some stuff already, some clothes and stuff. Um, but she bought me Gears of War 4, and she knows I've been after it, and I was going to order it, but I was a bit broke, so I didn't really have the money for it. Um, so she managed to get it for a decent price, um, brand new, and it comes with, you get the game, I don't know if you saw me streaming it the other day, uh, and it comes with, if you look in the corner, four bonus games, focus again, there you go, four bonus games, all basically the rest of the series as downloadable content. So that's pretty cool, uh, so I was really happy to get that, and it's a really good game so far, I've been enjoying it. And then we've got a couple of steelbooks. We have two Hulk movies. We've got... I'm going to get these wrong. We have... It's The Incredible Hulk and Hulk. That's what they're called. And the only annoying thing with them is that... So you've got your steelbook, which is cool. Really awesome. And you get a nice picture on the front. Lenticular, so as you can see, it moves. Harry's depressed. He's on the floor. He's upset already. Anyway, so you move it and the picture moves. It's really cool. Nice artwork. It's all good, but with all the other steelbooks <clears throat> I've got, they come with a cardboard back piece, which I like because when you put it on, it doesn't rub metal against metal with the other steelbooks, so they don't rub together. But these ones came with a paper piece, as you can see. It's just paper. Well, camera froze there for, for a second. So yeah, it's just paper, um, which is kind of annoying because you can't really put it in and it doesn't lock it in place because it's just a piece of paper. So I'm a bit disappointed with that. And it's got, the thing is with the steelbook, you don't get anything on the back. You don't get, is it called a blurb or something like that? That's all on the paper. So I don't know. And it's the same with both steelbooks. Bit of paper, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, so we've got two steelbooks. This is the other one, which is really awesome. And there's the insides, which is sweet. So I've got those. And then we go on to the games. So these are the Pow A NES games. Now, first of all, I got this, which is Off Road, which is an incredible game. Uh, I find the Pow one slightly harder than the American one. I tried the American one on emulator, and I found it a lot easier to get round in front of the uh, the uh, the other opponents. But this one was a lot harder for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's a bit slower. I'm not too sure. Um, but this one is from Nin Retro Beast um, Graham, who's a friend of mine. And he got, basically I sent him a load of stuff. I had a load of stuff I was getting rid of and I was like, you have it. And if you want to sell it on, sell it. Um, and he, he just said, oh, I'm going to send you some stuff. So he sent Amanda a load of Harry Potter stuff and then he sent me that game. So that's really awesome of him. He didn't have to do that, but you know, I really appreciate it. Then we go on to the games, uh, some of the good games. We've got Kid Icarus. I saw um, Team Chav pick it up and I think they paid 20 quid. And then suddenly I got an eBay voucher for a tenner because I don't use eBay that often. So they sent me a £10 voucher and this game was up for 28 quid. Uh, no. Yeah, 28 quid. So I offered them 24 on the on the make an offer thing and they accepted it. So it worked out as 14 quid because I got a tenner voucher. So 14 quid for that. So I'm really happy with that. Um, so one, it was a weird one because I opened the cartridge up. Sorry to ramble on. And I always clean the contacts. And on it is actually, I don't know if you know, if you've actually opened one of these up. There's a battery socket, and I, I read up that they weren't going to put a battery save feature on it, but because it wasn't cost effective, they left it on the board but didn't put the battery in and then made it a password system. So, just a little bit of rubbish knowledge there. Another game came with Slipcase, which is, I'm going to get it right, Action in New York. Now, I haven't played this game, but it's supposed to be pretty good. And it's one of the more expensive games. This one was got for me, and it worked out as twenty-seven pounds. I don't know if that's a great price. It, I didn't really check it up to be honest. Um, but it's it, it like commands quite a high price. Well, you know, reason it's an uncommon game, so I haven't played it yet. I need to play these games. Then we have let's go in order. 
We have Metal Gear, which is the first one. This game is absolutely rubbish, in my in my opinion. I think it's a rubbish game, but um, I needed it for the collection. I thought I'd give it another go, and it is. I just can't get on with it. It's just the graphics are nice, but I think it was just rushed. And it's one of the ones that's known by the creator that it's one of the worst ones of the series. Um, this one was thirteen pounds, which is a really good price. So thirteen pounds. These are all power again. Then in the next in the series, Snake's Revenge, Metal Gear Solid, Snake's Revenge. It's just called Snake's Revenge. Um, saying that a few times now. It's all right. It's a bit better, but it's still not very good. Um, this one was eighteen pounds, which is still a good price. These ones go up to like thirty pounds. I'm sure they do. So yeah, it's all right. It's good to have in a collection, but I don't really enjoy them. This game is a bargain, in my eyes, because it's a great game. NES Open Golf. It, these old golf and sport games that are on the old NES and things like that, Mega Drive, things like that, really good fun. And this was £6. And it's still, you know, the save obviously still works. Um, they do last ages of save batteries in the NES games. But it's great, and it's an incredible title. It's a really good, fun title. £6. Can't go wrong for that, I don't think. And then last of all, which you've seen in another video because I made a, a live stream on it, and it's hard as anything. I've never, I've, I've never played a Mega Man game so hard. It's Mega Man One. Now I've been after this for a while. Um, I've said this before in another video, and every time I go for it, it gets, it, I always get outbid by a pound, and it's getting annoying. And then this woman had it up for like sixty quid or seventy quid with a reserve, and I said, "How much is the reserve?" She was like fifty quid. I was like, "Well, I'll give you forty quid." Um, that's the sort of going rate for it on bidding. And I kept getting it, like I kept losing for like thirty nine pound or forty pound or forty one pound. So I said, "I'll give you forty quid," and she said, "Yes." So I just ended up getting it just for the sake of not having to bid on it every time and losing again and again and again. So yeah, bit of dust on it. Yeah, Mega Man One, and it's so hard. When I played it on the live stream, if you watch back on my live streams, it was so hard. It's, I've never played it so hard. I'm whack Mega Man Four in, and I'm getting through it a lot easier. I mean, like the difficulty on that for me is ten out of ten. The character slides. When you stop, you walk, stop, and it slides forward. And then the jumping's not as accurate, I don't think. I find it a bit annoying, but it's still a good game. Just, I don't think I'm ever going to beat it. I don't think, well, unless I use Action Replay. Not Action Replay, Game Genie. Game Genie cheats is the only way I'm going to get through that. So the other stuff I've got, I've got, you know, a few bits off people. Um, money, of course, so, you know, more NES games. And some clothes. I don't know if you want to see them. I don't think you do. But, yeah, that's me gaming and pickups. Uh, is there anything else? If you want to know about boot sales, as I said before, the episodes will come as long as the weather's good and every Saturday it comes to Saturday and it hammers it down and then Sunday it's closed. So I don't think there's many left anyway. I think there's probably two left, two boot sales. So it's probably going to be that. That's it for the season. So try and do some charity shops, but they, you know, as you see in them before, you go to 30 charity shops and you may get one item if you're lucky. So it's a bit annoying. But that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, Leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry I'm looking that way, by the way. The TV screen's there, so I like to look at myself. That sounded weird. Yeah, looking at myself, so it's um, putting me off. But anyway, see you later, guys.